So here we're looking at a one on X transformation, also known as a reciprocal of X. So what does it do? It changes the X scale by making the larger values small and the small values large. And you can see that in action here, all of these small values here are being pushed out here. They're being stretched this way when all of my large values are becoming small. And by doing that, I'm making a straight line. It has more of an effect than X squared. And when the X scale is a rate of, let's say, for example, liters a kilometer, the one on X changes the scale to kilometers a liter. So this is important uh, right here, as you can see, if I start with liters kilometers by applying this uh, reciprocal is actually swapping them around kilometers a liter. So, and kilometers a liter is more meaningful than liters a kilometer, because it makes more sense to say after you've driven this far, this is how many liters you're using than vice versa. Another very important thing here is that it will change the direction of the relationship. So positive to negative and negative to positive to investigate this point a bit more. Let's look over here. Do you see how my original points? So let's look at all those dots here. They're not straight, but it clearly has a positive gradient going on there. It's going up and to the right. Once I've applied my reciprocal transformation, however, do you see how now it's going down? So I went from a positive gradient in the red, then after I, uh, after I applied my reciprocal transformation, I now get a negative gradient. That's important. All right, next one. The X scale undergoes a reciprocal transformation and the Y value remains the same. So some important points there. I think a very important point is the fact that our direction of the relationship is going to change when we apply a reciprocal transformation. And we're going to be seeing this in action as we go through some examples soon.